Oh, cool. What are you up to? Can you do this? LA, that's amazing. How did you do that? I can't tell you. It's a kid's corner secret. I've got some other tricks that I can show you. first trick is I'm going to fill this bag up mm -hmm. with what? With water and, okay. and stab oh! it yeah. and it won't leak. Serious? Show me. So we top up our bag with water, top it up all the way to the top, keep filling, keep filling, keep filling, keep filling, a bit more, that, that'll do, okay. Then we zip it up all the way. Do you need a hand? Yeah, there we go. We just zip it up. Click. There we go. Cool. Then we put it to one side. What do we do next, LA? So what are you using there? What are you gonna stab it with? I'm gonna stab it with these skewers. Skewers. Okay. And how do we put it in? This. So you put it in the water, I'll hold it for you to help. Whoops. Just watch your hands out the back. Put it in ah. the well, it's not leaking. Can you do it with more? Yep. All right, we'll grab another one. In it goes. Ah, that's amazing. Can you do it with another one? Yes. Ah, you're going through the side. Yep. Tricky. <laughs> you're going right up the top, kid. Yep. <laughs> All right. And it's not leaking. There's a couple of little drops, but it's not leaking at all. That's pretty amazing. That's a very cool trick, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So what's the science behind this experiment? Let's have a really, really close look at our skewer stuck through the bag. Have a think about the last time that you had a drink through a straw. Did your mouth leak? Of course not. No. It's because your mouth is pulled tight around the straw, sealing it to stop any of your drink leaking out. Cars have heaps and heaps of what's called lip seals, believe it or not. And they stop all sorts of fluids from leaking out of our car. So if uh, seals stop oil from leaking out of our engines, our lips stop our drink leaking out of our mouths, and also that plastic bag stops our water leaking out when we shove a skewer through it pretty cool experiment huh all right what's your next trick my next trick will be separating water cool ready okay so how do we do that well we get some colors of food coloring mm -hmm. what color you got there green cool and how many are you putting in Two, two mm -hmm. drops. Two. So two of each colour. And why are you doing it over the sink? I've got no idea. <laughs> Show the camera your hands. <laughs> that's why. Right. So that's two drops in that one. And we're just using little shot glasses. So they're little tiny glasses, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And how many are you putting in the other one? Two. Two? Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so now we'll fill them up with water. For starters, we're gonna fill it with water, just a little bit of water. Yeah. But we're gonna to top it up all the way to the top, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So we'll just use some cold water all the way to the top. But don't make it with the fill. Okay, whoops. And this one goes all the way to the top. Both of them. Both of them all the way to the yeah, top. Yeah, cold and cold. Mm -hmm. They're both cold, aren't they? That's right. Very careful. And I've just got a thin sheet of plastic. I actually cut up um, a lid of a container. So it's just a thin sheet of plastic. So we'll put it on one. Which which do you want to be on top? Uh, I'll put some. Any. Any? Okay, yeah. so we'll put, we'll put the green on top. 
So you just gently push it down like that and it, the card should stay there all by itself with what's called atmospheric pressure. So if I'm quick, I should be able to turn it upside down and I set it right on top of that one. Now, whoops, make sure it's dead level. Do you want to just slowly pull it out for me, LA? Just over the side, that's it. Move your hand a sec. Just gently. Good girl. Whoops, keep going, keep going, keep going. What do you notice about the colours? It's mixing together. But I thought you said that you could separate water. They're all mixed together, aren't they? So we've got the red and the green all mixed together. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to separate them? This time we're going to be doing the same thing, mm -hmm. except with hot and cold. My red's going to be hot, yep. and my green's going to be cold. Okay, so do you want to put in those couple of drops for us again, please? And I'll help you with the water. <laughs> so what do you need when you're using hot water? Um, an adult. You need an adult around, don't you? Yep. A couple of drops of green. Good. Make sure the lid goes back on. <laughs> Gets pretty messy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's next? Red. And that's going to be our hot. Good girl. Okay, I'll help you with the next bit. So what are you gonna do now? Yeah, I'm gonna put cold water. Mm -hmm. So you fill it up all the way to the top, <laughs> all the way. Yep, that's all the way. And I might just have to. I'll do. Fire. I'll do the hot, but I might just put a touch more green, a bit more in there. I think it's got to be kind of overflowing almost. Mr. Fire does the fire. So we'll get some hot water happening, and of course you need an adult, don't you? I don't want kids Adult playing with hot. Time. Now with my card again, I just stick that on, remember, the one that's going to go upside down is going to be the red one. The red one is the hot one, so be very careful. You just slide him over the top like that, push down a little bit, flip it upside down, stick it on my green one, very carefully, and whoops. And LA, you want to just pull that card out very slowly, please. Yeah. Okay, where are you going? Just make sure you're out of the road there. Very good. There you go. Okay, so it's mixed a little bit, but just wait a sec. What do you notice? It's separate. It's separate. The green is staying on the bottom, and the red is staying at the top. And why was that again? Because cold sinks. Cold sinks. And red. Rises. Red rises. Excellent. Well done on you. Have you ever seen those massive balloons that have the little basket, the cane basket underneath, and people hop in and they float all around the skies? They're called hot air balloons. Why are they called hot air balloons? They're filled with hot air. How does that work? Hot air rises. On the other hand, have you ever seen it on a misty morning when it's really cold? and you see all the mist and the fog, it just settles right down on the ground, doesn't it? Whether it's a valley or the bottom of a hill. So, we know that cool air sinks and hot air rises. It's, it's exactly the same with our experiment. We had cold water that sunk to the bottom of those glasses and we had hot water that rose to the top. We could keep our red to the top and our green to the bottom. Another cool experiment. For my next trick, I'll be stacking liquids. Excellent, that sounds cool. This is the glass that we will be using. Alright, so what goes in there? The syrup? Syrup and the dishwashing. Liquid? Liquid and the blue water. Just some coloured water. Coloured water. And oil. Oil, good. Okay, so which do you think will go in first? I reckon the syrup. Syrup will, okay, so we'll put that in next. Oh, by the way, can you have a look at the camera? 
<laughs> you got dye all over your face. <laughs> Extreme close up. That's just sad, man. I want to see it. Syrup, being the densest, goes in first or the heaviest. So we're just pouring a little bit of that. Not too Whoa. much. I reckon that's probably enough. Trying to get in trouble for using too much. Ooh, all over the side. Ew. All right, what's next? Um, dishwashing with <laughs> Okay, do you want to do that, please? Yeah. Turn him right upside down, there we go. Oh. Keep going, keep going. It's not working. Give it a good squirt. Look at that, how cool is that? Keep going. Keep going. That'll do, that'll do. <laughs> Coloured water, I'll put that one in next, okay? Sure. Like we're taking turns. It is. Alright, what was the last one? Oil! Hello. Oh. Okay, so just to show you the levels, first of all we have the syrup, then we have um, the dishwashing liquid is next and then we have the blue water even though it looks a bit greenish here and right on top of that is our oil. Excellent! So that is stacked liquid. Stacking liquids? Seriously? I know, they start at the bottom, they go from heavy, a little bit lighter, lighter, lighter till they get to the top that's the lightest. Hmm, heaviest at the bottom, lightest at the top. That's called density. So that's our final awesome experiment. I hope you enjoyed fun with fluids. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>